is his sincere servant, his sincere obedient servant, and he was happiest when he was referred to as Abdullah, servant of Allah Almighty. Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah for another opportunity. <coughs> of so many opportunities that Allah has given us to reach the intention he has intended for us. When Allah Almighty says, you change what is in you, I will change what is outside of you. We, that is an ocean. Allah is saying, all you have to do, you start to change. Not just change, but you change in the way that I am pleased. I will let you know that I am pleased by rewarding you those things outside of you that will be pleasing to you. And we never get it. Because from one day to the next, the prophet said, peace be upon him, there are no two days that are the same. Either we're going up or we're going down. And we are at war. War with whom? We are at war with ourselves, keeping ourselves on the way that Allah Almighty has directed us to. Once we leave a positive and constructive environment, yes, we know that Shaitan has established his kingdom from east to west, from north to south. We know that he has influence over us. But Allah Almighty has brought about the training to resist that, that has, that's falsehood. Allah wants truth to be superior, to show that it is more powerful than falsehood. Allah says in the Quran, O ye of faith, say not to the Prophet وسلم, words of ambiguous import, but words of respect, and hearken to him, to those without faith, is a grievous punishment. Allah is saying that those who got faith don't be just coming up to the prophet, peace be upon him, trying to flatter him and being deceptive and thinking that, you know, he's going to pray for us so that we can reach the things that our Lord desires want to reach. Allah Almighty sent the prophet, peace be upon him, the crown of creation, to be among a people who were totally out of order, totally outside of themselves, never dealing with the inside of themselves, never changing their insides to make their outsides in harmony with that that Allah Almighty has placed in them. Coming, being deceptive, and that's why when they were not with the prophet, peace be upon him, they still fell into decadence. They still turned into turmoil and confusion. And he had to go a war against, he had to war against these people and kill them because they were trying to stop Allah Almighty's plan for humanity. He did not come, he did not come for himself. He did not come for his tribes or his people, his race of people. He came for all people. But there were people among him trying to stop him 
from bringing the message to a universal people. So Allah said, don't be going and trying to deceive him. He sees. Allah has sent him to be among the people to clean them, to direct them, to correct them. So that they could continue his light. Because Allah Almighty had only sent him here for a fixed period of time. And what Allah was doing was planting the seeds of light of Iman in his heart. And when he came among the people, he could plant the seeds in the heart of those people who were honest with him and not deceptive and not confused and not plain. And when they were not around him, they were diligently working on themselves. So when they were around the prophet, they could come and say, Oh, prophet of Allah, I couldn't do this, so I want to do this. What can I do? And he could give it to them and raise them. If they were not doing anything and they came around him and they asked them what could they do and he told them and it didn't happen, they would use that to say, see, look, he told me to do this and nothing's happening. And so he had to deal with those kinds of mentality. He had to deal with hypocrites, people coming around him just to get his energy. Just to see him. Just to cause confusion among the people who were trying to believe and trying to get their lives together. But there was a sorting process. Lot teaches us don't play. When I send people among you to guide you, don't play with them. And the Lord has taught us through history that when you came around the prophet and you didn't go out in your lives and improve and you didn't improve the lives of people you were playing in a state of unbelief and hypocrisy and that's why their lives became like shadows of deception shaitan was able to trick them and slick them because they were not sincere in the first place you think Allah Almighty is some stupid God? Allah says, oh ye who believe, people of faith. Those of you who believe in me, I'm sending someone to be among you to guide you if you're for real. Takbir! Takbir! And if you are playing, it's going to show up. You don't think the prophet knew that the people sitting in front of him were deceptive and they were being, uh, uh, they were trying to flatter him. So they thought this was a man like me so I could come off and say anything to him like that. That was the mentality of shaitan. That was shaitan possessing human beings to be around the prophet and Allah Almighty wanted to show the people that he was the prophet so he just listened to them. And step by step, he uses wisdom to sort them, to bring them out. And eventually, he took their hands. Because he was sent to establish Islam. It wasn't his Islam, it wasn't their Islam, it wasn't her Islam, it was Islam, Allah Almighty's religion. How can the people be dead when Allah Almighty sends his servants among us? How can the central situations continue to stay the same? Same stupid mentality. Same actions. Same questions. Same problems. How can it be if we're sincere? Go to Juma for what? Go to church for what? Go to the synagogue for what? Now when death come on us, oh, we're just playing all oh, out. Please forgive me. Yes, Allah is forgiving. We pray that Allah forgive us in that state. 